love it. I Today I've been up since 4am as Liam had a high temperature. I'm gonna get quite Christmassy here. I'm gonna watch Deck the Halls. Welcome to another day of a Vlogmas. We haven't had the best start to today. I've been up since 4am as Liam had a high temperature. Bless, like he was so hot and I was so worried. So I gave him the kids ibuprofen. He seems to be better now but I start to feel like the temperature is going up. He's not the best when it comes to me measuring the temperature for him. But it, we got to around kind of 38 mark last night. So I definitely need to keep an eye on it and that means probably a lot of liquids, staying warm, a lot of vitamins and yeah, so today has to be a cosy day in. Um, Tyke had to pop out now, obviously I'm happy to leave him with Tyke. Um, I also have got a nut nutcracker tonight with my friend Margita. So hopefully I can take you with me, obviously I can't film there but if we do anything before that. But yeah, I'm always a little bit worried as a mum even though it may be just virus or whatever, but if you're a mum, you understand. So I'm just gonna make him toast. He asked for toast, he had already some mandarins. Uh, he's drinking his water and juice. So it's gonna be another day at home. Sorry guys, <laughs> but that's life. Sometimes that happens. I did want to do something a little bit more festive today again, but we're not having that much life, but we can do some baking. I got this um, gingerbread kit. I would normally do it from scratch but I thought like this looks nice just for like a fun and you know if you mess up at least you didn't put too much energy into it so I may do that with him to see how he is and if he wants to do it and how he feels obviously he's a little bit grumpier so join us for today although it may not be super exciting so I'm not wearing any makeup yet or anything and let's make it a good one so Liam got another paracetamol and I'm going to make him his favorite food, which is paprika chicken. It's um, in Czech kuře na paprice and he loves it. So yeah, he deserves to be treated like a king when he's sick. Baby, my sweet, are you okay? So guys, as you can see, I'm here in my makeup room. You probably saw the vlog yesterday where I did the tour to show you around. Sorry, Liam is just playing with the lantern, so it's quite noisy. Uh, but yeah, his temperature went up uh, to 38 again, like probably an hour ago, so I gave him another paracetamol. I was just thinking I need to really keep an eye on it um, and stay home with him. Uh, he is fine otherwise. Every time the temperature goes uh, uh, down again, he starts to like, yeah, like, you know, be his usual self. Uh, but I do need to keep an eye on it and because obviously I'm going out I know I'm going to be quite nervous but you know I can always you know jump quickly in the cab and you know get home if needed um, I think he's going to be fine it's just the worry is he probably if you have kids or yourself you know that the temperature always goes up in the evenings um, but yeah if we keep an eye on it and try to keep it down it's fine he doesn't really want like any like cold towel or anything on his face, sadly. So that was my mom, she was always like, oh you have to give him the cold towel, oh, he can't stand it, so he wouldn't have that. Uh, if worse comes to worse, we will try like a cold shower, uh, which I used to hate as a child, but it does help. <laughs> uh, oh my god, and my mom used to wrap us to like a, in like a really cold sheet and then wrap us in a blanket. And I think, you know, there was like a time, you know, you would have like times in between these. Like, I think you would have like three in a row, but it does work, especially for the high temperatures. I mean, 38 is a high age, but it's not 39 or 40, like, let's face it. So, but it's still quite high. I mean, it scares me, you know, on that little body and you just feel the heat. I'm like, oh my gosh. But anyway, guys, he's going to be fine. Actually, one of the mums texted me that her son from nursery also has got the same symptoms. So, it's probably something going around at nursery. Uh, sadly, the kids need to build up their immunity. It's just like we can't do anything exciting, can we, baby? So, I need to change my 
Canon battery because I may be bringing to my my big Canon because I want to try like night images. My friend Margita said she would help me if we've got time. So let me go and choose uh, what I'm gonna wear whilst Liam is asleep. So because I want to shoot, I'm probably gonna dress up a little bit more than I would normally do. Not like I would wear something nice, but I'm thinking this sequin dress. Which I still haven't worn out but you've seen it numerous times in my IGTV if you guys don't follow me definitely um, go and say hi on my Instagram I do a lot of like IGTV styling videos and I thought I haven't tried it on I'll try it later I'll just lay it out here I want to try the new over the knee boots and maybe like throw over a blazer to kind of dress it down so I don't feel maybe too overdressed and I think this this could work really well for the night image so yeah, that's the potential. Maybe with my Chanel bag or like another simple bag. I've got a really cute small Chloe as well, but then <laughs> that doesn't fit as much. Definitely not my vlogging camera and because I want to bring my big camera, I will need like a spare bag, but that's fine. You have to do what you have to do, but I'm thinking definitely these two things. So let's see if it's going to work. It's still very early, but I thought like whilst Liam is asleep, I'm going to start to think of what to wear really. I have amazing NARS palettes that I think would definitely work in terms of eyeshadows but let me check once again the Pat McGrath because they're just stunning I really want to use them and actually wear it not just try oh I think these these could work as well definitely like the the gold one with the fail fire that would definitely work for, the, for that dress and maybe just a dab of this one into the crease so I may try these tonight the highlights I will definitely for sure so good so I will pop these into my palette drawer so they're really close to me when I need them I'm gonna get quite Christmassy here I'm gonna watch Deck the Halls which I mentioned earlier that I really like as a Christmas movie it's not the usual one, like my husband even didn't know it, but I just love the snow and the lights and it's funny. So yeah, look. So I just finished my makeup for tonight, but the light is awful everywhere, so you can't really see that properly. Maybe there's gonna be decent light anywhere, but the artificial light normally doesn't really work that well. Um, and I've used a lot of matte. Um, not love. I've used the matte foundation, but then I work with like a glowy stuff, and I've used that Padme Graf, um highlight palette, and I've picked the pearly one because I thought it's very interesting, and you really see the reflection of the different colors in the highlight. So I see the pearly, like the pinkish. It is definitely very interesting, and I'm going for a bright lip, which is orange shade, and that's Heat Wave um, from Nars. It's not really focusing, is it? Come on, focus. Well, basically, it's Heatwave from NARS. Because I think the orange will go nicely with the dress. And I'm thinking my hair, just to do like a ponytail maybe with that silk hair bow. Um, because I'm gonna wear like a men's oversized blazer over the dress. So it's gonna be like the contrast of the feminine and more boyish. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna wear. This vlog is gonna be probably super short, but you know, what can you do? Liam now feels better, but only, you know, two hours ago he was so hot and bless him. So I was alone with him and then Tyke arrived and that's at that point he started to feel a little bit better. Uh, but the temperature keeps coming and I know in the evening it's coming. Um, but yeah, I think he's in good hands with Tyke, although I don't feel fully comfortable to go. Uh, I'm probably going to be judged for this <laughs> by a lot of people. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, if something would really bad happen, I know uh, Ty would call me and I can always leave. That's that's fine. And that's basically what we've agreed. Um, but I think he's going to be fine as long as he's got some paracetamol in and you space it up in between six hours. He's going to be fine. Right. So Liam is just following me everywhere, but I'm glad he feels better. He's in a good form now. I'm um, just gonna quickly wrap a little present for my friend Margita. It was her birthday. Now, basically, she asked for no presents and just to contribute to charity, uh, which I did. Just leaving my sling. Sorry, guys. 
Um, but I'm gonna still bring her something small, something I know she can use. I'm gonna wrap it now. I may have to pop into the shop because I totally forgot that I'm basically, this is my op uh, opportunity to give her the present. So I may have to pop into the shop before I jump on the train for a cart. So let's wrap it. And then I may have to wake Tyke up so I can start to put on a dress. And because I will have to leave maybe five minutes earlier just to get the cart. <laughs> Sorry about the noise, <laughs> vlogging again with child. <laughs> Ta-da! And the present is ready. I will have to take a separate bag, like a canvas bag for my camera and this as well. And maybe umbrella, just in case need to check the weather. Right, so I'm ready and I love the look. It's probably a little bit too much for Nutcracker, but oh my god, it's Christmas anyway, why not? So it's the sequin dress of the shoulder. I can see the chocolates and stuff on my hips, but it's alright. We'll lose it in January. <laughs> These are the over the knee boots, my Chanel bag, and just this oversized blazer. Lovely. And big earrings and the bow for my hair. And now I need to pick a perfume. And I don't know what I fancy tonight. Actually, maybe Guerlain. I think I received this maybe two years ago, maybe even last Christmas. I know I have got um, a picture at Christmas tree in our flat and it's one of my favorite fragrances, the Mon Guerlain. They've got several vari variations. Oh yes, that's what I'm wearing tonight. That's what I feel. Yeah, I love it. I think it looks, you can see it maybe better here because I don't have the light directly in my face. So it's not as bright. Yeah, I love that. I'm walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July. Up till now, don't know where. Goodbye, I'll see you tomorrow and don't forget to visit the mobile time, but maybe I'll go check in.